hi guys welcome back thank you guys for coming back once more to tune into this channel thank you for all your feedback guys on all my videos thank you for always coming back and supporting i really really appreciate it you guys don't understand how much this means and you guys interacting with my videos and sharing my videos and all those things you know help my video get recommended to other viewers so yeah guys let's keep building our community and for all the people that's watching today that have not subscribed yet if this is your first time on the channel guys please don't forget to just give the video a like and subscribe okay so you can get notified whenever i post content and yeah guys so today um so first off guys i recorded this video it was an hour and 46 minutes before i edit it okay and i noticed while i was editing this video that my mic cut off like at the beginning <laughs> my mic died okay so therefore the entire video has no sound so therefore i have to do my voice over so yeah well anyways in this video today guys um quick thing i am um, unboxing a grass wall that i purchased okay so a little backstory i've been using the same grass wall for over four years um my grass wall i just roll it and zip tie it and you know it's fully built out but i don't have like a big storage space like my storage is like a 20 by 10 and it's so full right now like i don't have a big space to have like walls or anything like that in there i have a few walls but they're all rolled and you know so it's easy to store um but i've been using the same grass wall for the last four years um i can honestly say that i've gotten my money's worth out, out of it time and time again um i recently used it in a launch uh grand opening in new york and it made me realize that i need to find a more efficient <laughs> um wall um the reason why i have not put my grass wall on a panel is because i don't have a like a work truck like i have a suv that is, you know i'm able to bring all my stuff and it's pretty big um it's a seven seater so it works for me but as far as like bringing like large super large items like one i don't want to have to keep traveling with stuff like that because sometimes i go on setups by myself so i don't have a person to assist me to carry all that stuff and an eight by eight grass wall that means i would have to have two four by eight walls in the van and um i don't think the van is long enough to fit like the back part is not long enough to fit an eight foot wall so yeah guys um that's so those are two reasons storage is one and two because of the trans to transport it and the um to, to carry it that's so that's three reasons actually um so that's the main reason why i don't have mine set up like that um however i would notice like you know it's, I, it's like i said it's been four years so it's getting kind of like cold old i don't use it a lot so it kind of just sits there and the i feel like the back end is kind of getting crystallized because sometimes i'll you know after i roll it up and unroll it i have to be doing new zip ties to kind of reconnect them and stuff like that and when i was in the city the other day it was a pain guys to transport this thing in that building that building was so big so we had to um unload at a loading dock then we had to take an elevator down to i think it was the third floor and then I got to the third floor. I met the guy that was coordinating the event. He's like, oh, this the grass wall is going to get set up downstairs at the, in the lobby area. So then we had to take the elevator back down to the first floor. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just too much. But anyways, today I found this one on fashion, uh, fashionandfascinating.com. Okay, this is not an ad by any means. Like I said, I like to give you guys the plug and kind of give you guys an idea of where you could get find things. I know some people are very stingy and, you know, you'll see something that you like and you'll ask, oh, where do you get this? And they find it so hard, guys, to tell you. I've been there. And it's th the main thing, like I've had people said to me before, like, you need to do your research or whatever. They just find these things and they feel like they need to keep it a secret. They don't need to tell anybody and whatever. They'll send you on like this wild goose chase trying to search for the things. 
I don't see what's so wrong with just giving somebody a link or just letting somebody know where you purchased an item. Like, it's not a big deal, like, honestly. But anyways, I went ahead and I purchased this grass wall. Um, it was on sale. Actually, it was 50% off. So I was just like jumping like through hoops because I know I have two events coming up that I'll be using this wall for. So I made sure that I invest in the wall because I did not want to deal with that same dilemma I had in New York. So with that being said, um, it's an eight by eight wall. The first thing that I actually love about this wall is the fact that it's split in half. So it's four by eight, two, four by eight panels. Um, so right now I'm just going to unbox it. It comes into two pieces. Um, so as you can see, it already has a back end. That was another issue that I had with the one in New York because my grass wall don't have a back end on it. So I had to like put some like green draping behind it because we, where we were setting up, it was by a window. So then all the lights is going to reflect through the, you know, the little gaps in between the wall. So then you don't get like a nice dark green wall. You kind of just have like the light coming through, um, which I don't like because sometimes I don't, most of the times I don't get like photos from my clients. Um, half the time they come to the event, they're so busy. They don't have time to save photos. They actually rely on me to provide them with photos of the setup. So when I go early, I can get pictures of that stuff. Like, it, you know, when the sun goes down, obviously you'll be able to get good pictures, but before that you, you won't. But anyways, it comes into two sections. Um, I like the fact that it comes with like this little, um, two little bands or, you know, that you could tie around. Um, the back of this wall guys, it actually comes with, um, ties. So that's how you'll connect the middle part and the, the ends on the pipe and drape. So for this, you definitely need a pipe and drape stand to set this up. So it's, um, I forgot how many, I think it was about five or six, um, different areas where they have the, the, the little tabs that you could tie around the poles. And then in the middle, it has it as well to connect the two walls. And on top of that, it does have like a Velcro strip going down the middle that you use to connect, to lock the walls together. So you get like one seamless piece. But the thing I like about this the most is the fact that I could rent half the wall out and then have the other half using that as a first setup or rent both halves out to separate people and then this way i don't have to charge them for a full wall so now i have the option to, sh to rent it out as a half a wall for people that are say you know something more budget friendly for them also guys the other thing this back end here has like a pole pocket which is about five inches wide so it's perfect for your crossbar so there there's one more thing there that i like about it because now i don't have to use the zip ties um to connect because i noticed like if you don't use enough zip ties when you're connecting the grass wall because the grass wall is usually heavier it um once you put it up then you have like these gaps in the wall that now you have to um, either add more zip ties or kind of find a way to like stretch it out. So like not tightening the zip ties initially on the pole until after you put it up, then you kind of just stretch it out and then tighten the zip ties because otherwise you're going to have like these bulging areas in it. So that's another big plus. So I don't have to deal with that. And guys, overall, this wall is super, super light. I, at first, I was just like, wow, I don't know how this is going to look because it's so extremely light. It's so extremely light. It actually gives kind of feel like my fl floral walls, which are you, you, like a little lighter than the grass wall that I have. But it's super light. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and put it up and kind of just see. So just watch the process, guys. I'm going to... You know, the one thing I would say when you're putting, if you're going to purchase this, one thing I would say to do is when you're putting this, um, poles in, make sure that the Velcro section is in the middle because then you're going to have to take it back off. So you yeah, guys see how easy that was to just slide it in. Yeah. So like I said, I got this at fashion and fascinating.com. If you would like to upgrade your grass wall or purchase a grass wall, um, this particular grass wall, like I said, it's it was a half off. So if you buy it now while it's on sale, then it's a very great deal. And, you know, going forward, I, you'll see it again in a few weeks because, I, like I said, I have two events coming up that I'll be using this wall. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, just stay tuned and keep watching as I unbox this.
Okay, guys, I have to say that I am very, very, very impressed. Okay, that did not take me any time at all to set up. Um, it was super lightweight, like I said. Um, I really love how it looks. Very dark. You can't. It's very opaque. You can't see through it. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. It's definitely an upgrade. Um, one thing I would say, though, guys. Um, as far as like, okay, this is my only thing. I like the fact that you could tie the um, things around the pole, okay? Um, the only thing I would say is I would probably still zip tie the, the edges, maybe in like two spots just to kind of tighten it some more. I feel like it's, yes, it's tied around it, but it's not tight enough where I feel like it's just going to sit there and not move. And I do, I hate for like when I start to do the garland on it, then it's like shifting and moving. Because you know how sometimes, because it's like lightweight, when you make the balloon garland, if you say you have like an area that the balloon is protruding like more than the others, are like bulging and pushing onto it, then it kind of like makes the wall shift. So that's the only thing I would say or recommend um to do is to just maybe zip tie the ends or like say mid like the middle and the end section to kind of just tighten it, the wall itself so you don't get like a bulge or um you know have it look weird but overall guys um i can never tell that the walls are connected <laughs> i can't even tell that it's two walls this is so seamless guys you can't even tell the, the velcro is was a nice touch and i love that and the fact the matter is i could still see 
the you know i could still see where the um you know the um the little grids in between so i could still tie things to it and as a matter of fact the garland that i'll be building i'll be tying some 260s on there to show you guys as well as um i feel like i don't lose anything as far as like when i if i have to add like a signage um i could always just push the wire through that velcro velcro area to hide it so this way i don't have so because that was one of the things that i love about the grass wall that i had i could i was just able to push my um wires through so that way when i plug up the lights you don't have this wire going across i hate seeing that so it's i'm glad to know that i will still be able to do that with this wall so yeah guys for now that is it i'm gonna go ahead and prep some balloons and then yeah we're gonna I'm going to install the balloons on there for you. It will be like a nice spring balloon garland. Um, I'll probably throw in some butterflies in there, maybe some flowers, maybe maybe um, balloon florals. Um, but you guys, let me know in the comment what you think about this grass wall. Let me know if this is something that you would invest in, okay? And like I said, guys, it really was very inexpensive. So it's worth the... Um, it's worth the cost i'll probably make my money back in two rentals to be honest okay or one and a half rental <laughs> but anyways anyways that's the whole point okay you make investments so you can make money okay so yeah all right guys so just keep watching i'm gonna go ahead now and, and you know get my balloons started and yeah i'll see you when i get to that point <laughs> Okay, guys, so for this particular garland, I will be doing um, a garland going down the, across the, um, the grass wall. So it'll be from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. So it'll be going straight across the middle, going down the middle. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give it like a, you know, a different option of how you could do the garland on the grass wall. I will be showing you two other options in upcoming um, videos, um, but this is a different vid, um, tutorial, I mean, different option here. Um, guys, like the colors that I chose, I try to be get more springy colors, but not pastel colors, you know, because I feel like the pastel co colors give me more of like Easter. Um, but I wanted to, you know, brighten it up a bit, but not too bright where you feel like it's like summer. Um, it's no, I don't want it to feel tropical. But I will be doing another garland, a tropical garland on the grass wall in the upcoming video. So you'll get to see a different color scheme on that. Um, but right now, I just chose these colors because i feel like they were like bright they were fun but not like 
summer bright. They're given spring vibes. So that's why I chose those colors, guys. Um, like I said, with this balloon brand, I love, 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 love using these balloons. Just look at how big I'm inflating these balloons, guys. Like super big. Like to the point where like I still have a lot of neck left over. And what the, that does is just when I size them down, I end up with like a bigger balloon versus like the 11 inch balloons where you won't be able to get such big balloons to begin with and the whole point of this why i like it so much is that i end up using less balloons in my garland versus if i was doing the 11 inch i would have to when i size them out in order for me to get them to a rounder shape you have to kind of size them down a bit because the you know because a smaller balloon you don't have that much room to fill so i just love how big i could um in inflate these balloons they're very soft even when they're like super super big they're very very soft so i you know i i inflate them big because i want to kind of see how much i could air i could put in them and to see how you know how it would hold up um but super super soft guys as you can see like as i'm like pushing down on the balloons and i'm not even being gentle i've been like really aggressive and, and that's just my nature i'm very aggressive um but i'm like really pushing down on these balloons and i'm not even afraid that they're gonna pop because i know the quality is very good but look at how big those are look at how big those balloons are okay and i did not fill it all the way there's still a lot of stretch in these balloons okay um look at that once i size it down i end up with like a nice big balloon okay so that's a good thing um but yeah guys that's pretty much it so just keep watching um all the way to the end and just let me know what you think about it okay and guys if you're new to this channel please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family and also don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe please i'm begging you <laughs> but yeah let's build this community okay let's build this community let's keep this going i see you guys are enjoying the videos and i enjoy creating them for you and i'm glad people are actually learning stuff and they appreciate because let me tell you i am a very busy person but i promised you guys that i was going to dedicate my time to this and i'm really really trying my hardest to stay on top of it and just make sure i'm putting out content for you guys you know and like i said if you have suggestions of things that you want to see just put it in the box and i will make a video on it so yeah guys just keep watching So guys, this if this is your very first time watching my videos, this is how I custom my balloons. I usually, um, when I pump them, I pump two at a time, then tie them together. Then I take the duplexes, so a duplex is two balloons tied together, and a quad is four balloons. So, so a quad is basically two duplexes intertwined, okay? And when I make my clusters, I basically just, you know, intertwine maybe I would say maybe five or six of the duplexes to create my clusters and then what I do is I take a long stretch of neck from one cluster and connect it to another neck on another cluster and that's basically how I build my garland. 
So yeah guys, um, like I've tried different methods, but this is the easiest one for me. Um, this is the method I've been using for the last four and a half years, building my garlands. I've never had any issues, but the key thing guys to doing this, you have to make sure that you're buying good balloons. I cannot say um, other brands, I can, you know, I've used a lot of brands of balloons and these are the type of balloons that you want to use. You want to use commercial grade balloons, whether it be Tuftex or Qualtex or Sempertex or Decomex or Calisin or whatever brand that you choose to use. As long as it's commercial grade, you'll be fine. I can't say like other brands, like the off brand stuff, like Timu or some of the stuff that's on Amazon, or if you buy, like, say, at a regular dollar store or a party city. I can't vouch for those balloons because I don't use those for my professional work. I've used them in the past to practice with, and that's all I use them for. I don't use them for professional work. There may be one certain um, maybe one or two times where somebody orders something last minute and I might not have a particular balloon available in stock and I have to run to either Party City or to Amazon. Um, and the experience is not great, guys. I'm going to be honest. The experience is not great. When I use those balloons to do anything, it just makes me appreciate this these commercial balloons more. Okay, so yeah. But anyways, um, that's about it for now. I'm just going to create some minis. Um, I'm not going to do a lot because I'm going to be adding those rope um, rope chains or uh, the chain links. Sorry, I'm going to be adding the chain links. And like I said, I was going to do some butterflies and maybe a uh, floral garland. I mean, a floral, garland, floral balloon. So I'm just going to add maybe, I'll probably create like six or seven fillers for each cluster. Okay, so stay tuned.
Okay, guys, so I'm finished um, my last set of the clusters. So right now, guys, I'm just going to go in and start attaching the 260s to the grass wall. And I'm just, like, finding, like, the little gaps um, in between, like, on, from the grid in between. And I'm just looping the two, uh, 260 over them. So I'll be using, probably tying in about four. Actually, I've tied in three, and then the last one I just tied onto the leg. And this balloon, I'm just going to be using the 260s to wrap around, like, the necks, like, where I tie the necks of the balloon um, to kind of secure it. So I'm not actually tying it on the balloon, like, or looping it over a balloon, just because I want to ensure that it's secure enough, like... Even though this is like a tutorial, you know, I still try to practice doing that. So when I go to my actual setups that I don't, you know, take shortcuts. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you want to try to loop it around the necks of the balloon and tying it instead of looping it over a balloon. Because if that balloon pop that you loop it over, then that part of your garland is going to sag. Okay, guys. So yeah, um, well, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to keep going like installing this and you could just keep watching the process okay stay tuned Okay, guys, so I've decided to add in a few clusters of gold um, just to kind of use as an accent color um, to kind of elevate it a bit. And I'm going in now with some 18 inch balloons. Um, once I'm done with this, guys, I'm going to start 
um, putting in my fillers. So I'll be doing, for fillers, I'll be doing the chain links that I created, um, the little mini fillers, and then I will be putting in uh, two foil butterflies and one foil like flower. And then I have some um, butterfly cutouts that I purchased for an event um, some time ago and I have a few leftovers so I'm just gonna put a couple of those in there as well so yeah that's pretty much what I'll be doing um, for the rest of this video so just stay tuned and keep watching guys <music>
okay guys so here is the final look i hope you guys love this setup um you know this i love setup doing stuff like this where i could be creative in my own creative space and just freestyle i hate when i get like requests for an event and you know people are not open to suggestions or open to you know let you be creative they just want what they want um but i love when i'm in my creative space where i could just do whatever i want and you know create it how i want without any restrictions so yeah guys this is you know a beautiful piece it's totally given spring um it came out really really good i hope you guys enjoy it and i would really 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 you know appreciate your feedback let me know what you think about it let me know if you like it um if anything that you would have changed let me know i'm open to suggestions um once again like the grass wall i will leave the link in the description um for the grass wall if you're interested right now like i said it was on sale for i believe it was 50 percent off so it's at this moment it's a great investment i love the look of it um very nice and green dark you know no light coming through or anything like that so yeah guys don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get notified when i post new content and yeah just keep being creative and keep practicing and perfecting your craft okay until next time guys see ya that is time, so stay